new video and you review the Honor Magic 4 Ultimate against the P50 Pro. So two super flagship phones. Which one can win this camera war? Let's get started. And here we see the two devices and the camera systems with different cameras. We have a 50 megapixel main camera on both. We have a telescopic zoom, periscopic zoom, telezoom, three and a half times zoom, 64 megapixels on both that can zoom in and do 10 times hybrid zoom. So the Magic 4 Ultimate only offers seven times hybrid zoom. You have to then digitally crop in a little bit further where the P50 Pro just offers you directly 10 times hybrid zoom. Otherwise, we have a 13 megapixel ultra wide angle on the P50 Pro and a 64 megapixel ultra wide angle on the Magic 4 Ultimate. And we have a monochrome lens. And here we have an ultra spectrum camera, both 50 megapixels as well. And yeah, both very good in this regard, but also very good in regards to the front facing cameras. So when we take a look at the front facing cameras, we have a normal front facing camera, just like in a punch hole on the P50 Pro, and we have a pill shaped front facing camera on the Magic 4 Ultimate. And when it comes to the specs, we have 12 megapixels on the Magic 4 Ultimate. I think it's 30 megapixels on the uh, P50 Pro, but the P50 Pro has autofocus on the front, which is pretty, pretty nice as well. I think we will start with the front facing camera. I was running around a little bit in the wind using the internal speakers, so be prepared for some loud wind noises. So 4K30 on the front facing camera of the P50 Pro. It's a bit of windy and I'm using the internal mics. Am I crazy? No, I want to just show you which mic system is working better. And uh, the cool thing about this uh, 4K30 uh, selfie cam is that it has autofocus. So I can show you the camera bump of the Magic 4 Ultimate very, very close and it's focusing nicely on it and now focusing back on my face. Uh, what do you think about this uh, ultra wide angle? And uh, I can go even wider if I want to. This is the widest. High dynamic range is working fine as you can see here. And I can go one times, which yeah might be not so much for group shots. I like the 0.8 times much better. And you can see the difference also to the wide and the 0.8 times clearly where yeah, you don't see it so much on the Magic 4 Ultimate, but let's check out the Magic 4 Ultimate. And now the front facing camera on the Magic 4 Ultimate, which here we call in white by default, but I can go to my 0.8 times, which I like a little bit better, but as you can see, it's only marginal zooming in. And I can go to one time. Here's one times, as you can see here. This one doesn't have any autofocus, so this is one of the issues that you don't have any autofocus on this camera. But uh, yeah, 0.8 times, still good. I think dynamic range is also okay-ish, maybe a little bit more blown out than on the P50 Pro. And also I think the P50 Pro is a bit wider here on its default camera. 12 megapixels here, 4K 30 that you can record on this, but with a 15 minute time limit on the Magic 4 Ultimate that you don't have on the P50 Pro, at least not the P50 Pro Kirin variant that I have here video mode of the Huawei P50 Pro 4K 30 frames per second main camera sensor and I can also go to the ultra wide angle so I can zoom out and this is now the ultra wide angle uh, 13 megapixels uh, sensor on the P50 Pro also 4K 30 frames per second and I can also zoom in if I want to so let's go and check out what we can see there. Stabilization is working pretty fine. HDR is good. One times, three half times, seven times. And I can go up to 15 times zoom. It's pretty stable. And it's working fine. 4K 30 frames per second now on the Magic 4 Ultimate, the main camera sensor. I can switch through all the lenses so I can go to the ultra wide angle. This is the ultra wide angle, 64 megapixel sensor. So yeah, 
I think it's pretty good. And uh, now let's go to the zoom test. Let's see if we can zoom in. See stabilization is working fine. 4K30, a little bit over sharpened on the display. One time, roughly five times and ten times the zoom. And here you can see what you can get with uh, ten times zoom. Also pretty stable. I can change the exposure a little bit, dial it a little bit down. Let's see a little bit more. Um, yeah. What do you think? Let's talk about the photos and the P50 Pro is always on the left and the Magic 4 Ultimate always on the right. What we can see here with the main lens and close-up shot, you can get nice background bokeh effect. You have a nice punchy color on the P50 Pro and more realistic greens here on the Magic 4 Ultimate. When we punch into 100%, we can see center sharpness is both good, but there's a bit more detail on the Magic 4 Ultimate. I think a more pleasant image on the Magic 4 Ultimate, especially also with the background blur not being so busy and a bit more blurry as you can see here because of the larger aperture and larger sensor size. When we go and in a bit closer, we can automatically switch to the ultra wide angle or it automatically switches to the ultra wide angle to get this close up shot. You can get a bit closer with the Magic 4 Ultimate, but the sharpness is suffering and here the P50 Pro is simply better. More sharpness, more details and better focusing. When you go and step back a little bit, you can take also the utilize the main sensor for this shot. And with the P50 Pro, you can get still close enough to get a nice and decent shot with the Magic 4 Ultimate. Yeah, it's also good. The sharpness is good, but the more details you can see on the P50 Pro is you can get a little bit closer and have everything sharp with the little bit smaller sensor and aperture. When we take a look at the selfies, we can see clearly that there's some processing and more contrast going on. There's a bit of overexposure on the Magic 4 Ultimate, especially in the background, and some weird processing going on here in the green grass where you can see the P50 Pro um, yeah, maintains a little bit more natural colors here. The same you can see on the face, there's some artificial sharpening going on on the Magic 4 Ultimate. It's not super, super bad, but the autofocus on the P50 Pro is doing a much better job. And I think also both have like a bit of fake skin color. The Magic 4 Ultimate is a bit more true to life, where the P50 Pro is a bit more toned down. But the beard hair here and the details is a bit better on the P50 Pro. I prefer the P50 Pro here in terms of selfies. When we take a look at the main sensor, we can see directly there's more blue punchy color on the Magic 4 Ultimate. The greens are a bit more toned down where they are a bit more punchy on the P50 Pro. And there's some weird artifacts going on here around this. As you can see here, some stair effect, stairs effect on the P50 Pro where the autofocus area on the Magic 4 Ultimate stays clean. When we take a look at the next shot with the main lens, we can see again the punchy colors. When we take a look at the center sharpness, both basically the same, a bit brighter exposure on the P50 Pro could be also to Magic 4 Ultimate adding a little bit more punch and a little bit more contrast. And we go to the sides, you can see it's getting very, very quickly unsharp on the Magic 4 Ultimate simply because the plane of view is simply a little bit further behind. So what we have here is those kind of elements of the cathedral here of Cologne are simply more in the back and the shallow depth of field of the Magic 4 Ultimate is a lot higher with its larger aperture and its larger sensor size than on the P50 Pro. It tries to compensate with a bit of adding sharpness on the Magic 4 Ultimate. You can see it in faces if you have two people standing right next to each other, one a little bit behind the other one. It tries to sharpen up the faces but it's not as good as the P50 Pro. The P50 Pro is doing here a better job in terms of sides but in the middle it's basically the same and we get a bit more contrasty look on the Magic 4 Ultimate, more punchy um, sky color. We can also see the shallow depth of field here on this cake where you can see the P50 Pro still has it sharp all the way up here and the Magic 4 Ultimate is roughly here in the middle getting its sharpness and then the rest is sharp as well. When we take a look at the sides here, you can also see much more smoother bokeh on the Magic 4 Ultimate, where I like a lot better. There's some weird processing again in the bokeh of the P50 Pro, which I don't like so much. More punchy color here in the background again, so Magic 4 Ultimate sometimes uses a bit more punchy color. Talking about color, reds and uh, very strong greens are also very different and difficult for people uh, to photograph because digital cameras tend to overdo it and as you can see here the P50 Pro simply struggles from this very high punchy red color. The Magic 4 Ultimate is doing much much better here in this shot and it preserves more details here in the highlights. 
and we can see it even with AI mode disabled. The P50 Pro is doing a little bit better. We have more yeah, details here, but the Magic 4 Ultimate is simply better with more accurate pinkish color of this flower and more details simply preserved. When we take a look at here, you can also go into the Pro mode and dial down your own Kelvin number to get the colors right. Both set to 5000 here, but different colors still. The P50 Pro a bit more reddish still, even though it is yeah, getting a bit pinkish. But here this pinkish is more accurate on the Magic 4 Ultimate, but it's like overexposing here and doing some weird artificial stuff, which I don't like. So the more pleasant picture here would be the P50 Pro. Talking about the Pro mode, the P50 Pro has the ability to take raw shots on all three lenses, where the Magic 4 Ultimate only allows you to do this in the uh, main lens. But talking about high-res shots, here the Magic 4 Ultimate allows you to do high-res shots, as you can see here, with all three lenses. This is the high-res shot on the Magic 4 Ultimate against the high-res AI shot on the P50 Pro. We can see a bit more dynamic range on the Magic 4 Ultimate, a little bit less dynamic range here in the sky, more punchy colors here, especially in the greens. Sharpness is really on par. Both 50 megapixels are doing a great job. More shallow depth of field here again on the Magic 4 Ultimate. As you can see here, it's getting a little bit unsharp towards the background. When it comes to the detail level in general, both are doing a good job. More punchy colors on the P50 Pro. Look at the uh, look at the flower here that I photographed earlier. The P50 Pro now has the more accurate colors here, a bit more pinkish, where the Magic 4 Ultimate has a little bit more reddish kind of color. But the P50 Pro is using AI mode here. What does it, or how does it look like without AI mode? This is how it looks like without AI mode. Still punchy colors, a bit of better high dynamic range, but detail level is worse. It's simply, yeah, I would say unusable. Everything a bit mushy, everything a bit unsharp. Uh, nothing really in focus, nothing really sharp. Uh, again, the colors are more accurate on the P50 Pro, but this is basically it. Let's take a look at some close-up shots here of this orange tree. What we can see here is we have like a bit of more detail on the P50 Pro as I can get a bit closer, but out of focus area just simply looks a bit better on the Magic 4 Ultimate with the main sensor. There's some weird processing going on where it tries to sharpen up things in the out of focus area on the P50 Pro, which is a bit of weird, and the Magic 4 Ultimate keeps it real. When we take a look at the colors again, you can see photographing here with the telelens, the colors again are a bit well, changed again on the Magic 4 Ultimate. It's a bit more reddish here, still tries to do some pinkish kind of color, but the P50 Pro is not only more pleasant, not so over sharpened as the Magic 4 Ultimate, but also has the more accurate colors here. In this case, you can see it also in the background where there's like, uh, yeah, it's struggling with the red on the Magic 4 Ultimate in the telelens where the main lens is doing a good job, the telelens is falling apart here a little bit. So the P50 Pro has the better telelens, at least when it comes to color accuracy. And now using the telelens for a portrait shot, what you can see here is, yeah, both, uh, basically there's a bit of more uh, P50 Pro, more dynamic range eventually, or it's like painting the color of the sky a little bit more blue. But we can see here also it's a bit more punchy colors, more contrast on the Magic 4 Ultimate, both expose my face all right, but the P50 Pro has a bit more of a softening effect. I like it a little bit more because it's more pleasant to the eye to look for a portrait where the Magic 4 Ultimate tries to sharpen things up and adding contrast, which it results in a bit more detail in my face, but it's also not looking so pleasant, especially as my face is a bit too yellow here and the P50 Pro nails it a bit better. You can see also there's a bit of more background blur on the Magic 4 Ultimate because I think it has also a larger sensor and larger aperture, or well, maybe it's the same aperture, but larger sensor here on the telelens. But uh, yeah, the P50 Pro has a bit more realistic colors, I have to say. It flips around when you go to the five times zoom here and in five times zoom, you can see that a bit of too dark exposure on my face on the P50 Pro. Also the sharpness is lost where the Magic 4 Ultimate keeps its sharpness. It's not as sharp as it was earlier, it's more soft, but this creates a bit more pleasant look in my eyes on the Magic 4 Ultimate. Also, I think the detail level is on par. Let's see, yeah, I think there's a bit of more detail on the Magic 4 Ultimate in this case, even though I don't like it, my face is still a little bit too yellow. When we come to the ultra wide angles, we have a nice interesting fact here, 13 millimeters on the P50 Pro, the Magic 4 Ultimate can go down to 11 millimeters, super, super ultra wide, more dramatic effect. But when you zoom in here, 11 millimeters, uh, it cannot compete against the P50 Pro. The P50 Pro, yeah, granted it has some over sharpening going on, but there's more details, more sharpness, and it's a bit of a blurry mess on the Magic 4 Ultimate in contrast 
so I don't like the Magic 4 Ultimate. But the Magic 4 Ultimate is only at 11 millimeters, such like unsharp in this case. If you click on the ultra wide angle button instead of using the slider to zoom, you just click the slider, then it goes into what is roughly, I think, 15 millimeters. Let me don't lie, 15 millimeters. And this one is superior to the P50 Pro. We can zoom in here. It is a lot sharper than the 11 millimeters, but it's not over sharpening, overdoing it as the P50 Pro is doing it. As you can see, where it's like a bit of over sharpening artifacts going on, you don't see them on the Magic 4 Ultimate. The Magic 4 Ultimate is doing a much better job in terms of ultra wide angle here when using the 15 millimeters, which is the default if you click on the ultra wide angle button. When we take a look at the zoom shots, this is three and a half times zoom. We can see a bit of brighter exposure on the P50 Pro, a bit of darker exposure on the Magic 4 Ultimate, though the Magic 4 Ultimate keeps a bit of more details. As you can see, there's some dents and dips on this cross, which are simply not visible on the P50 Pro so much. And also, I think here is a bit slightly overexposed on the P50 Pro and good exposed on the Magic 4 Ultimate. And look at the background. There's a ladder here that you can clearly see that is not visible on the P50 Pro, almost not visible at all. It's too dark there. And uh, yeah, in general, I think the Magic 4 Ultimate is doing a little bit of better job at three and a half times zoom here on the Cathedral Cross in Cologne. Also the exposure here on first glance with the, what is it, seven times or five times, I think it's seven times now, zoom is a little bit better on the Magic 4 Ultimate. But when you zoom in and take a look at the detail level, there I think the P50 Pro is nailing it a little bit better with much more details. A bit unsharp here at the edges, especially on the Magic 4 Ultimate, where the P50 Pro nails it here with sharpness and details. And yeah, more detail levels here on the P50 Pro. Also the ladder look, looks a little bit artificial on the Magic 4 Ultimate, looks more natural on the P50 Pro, even though the Magic 4 Ultimate has a better exposure here. When we take a look at the 10 times zoom, then you can also see the better exposure on the Magic 4 Ultimate, but again, detail level is not there, where the P50 Pro looks a bit artificial now again, but has preserved more details here in the cross and also in the background with the P50 Pro's uh, shot. The ladder is like much more visible and clear. And yeah, this is the big difference, 10 times zoom shots look better on the P50 Pro. This is a 10 times zoom shot of this bridge. Take a look at the detail level here, a bit blurry and a bit underexposed. The P50 Pro is the winner here when it comes to 10 times zoom shots. And the main shot here, just to take you to this little trip, we want to zoom in to this, from this same perspective, we zoom in 10 times to this building here, the crane buildings here in Cologne, which look pretty nice. Uh, take a look at the main shot here, a bit more dramatic with the Magic 4 Ultimate with its added contrast and more punchy color in the sky where the P50 Pro has a more realistic color and in general the greens are a bit more punchy on the P50 Pro again so we have this. Let's take a look at the 10 times zoom shot again, 10 times zooms, a bit more bluish kind of hue here on the Magic 4 Ultimate, a bit more greenish on the P50 Pro. Levels of details, do we see much of a difference? I have to say not much. There's a bit more straight lines here on the P50 Pro down here, where it looks a little bit like a wave on the Magic 4 Ultimate and less preserved details. You can see it also here in this building where we still have a little bit more detail on the P50 Pro and it's a bit mushy here on the Magic 4 Ultimate. So 10 times hybrid zoom, the P50 Pro wins against the Magic 4 Ultimate. And uh, the ultra wide angle can also produce nice colors here, but here you can see a fail of the Magic 4 Ultimate's main sensor first. Two punchy colors, too much contrast added, a bit too dark exposure. Even the reds looks unrealistic. The, Mag the P50 Pro much, much clearer, much, much better here, much, much uh, better details here. Uh, but what we can see here, the ultra wide angle fails <laughs> the P50 Pro because what's going on with the colors? It now has added the punchy colors. It somehow has some kind of violet or pinkish kind of hue here on the stairs, which is not so good. The Magic 4 Ultimate, when you take a look at here, these shots, they look almost identical. So they keep, they preserve the colors. Take a look at night mode shots. What we can see here when not taking on or turning on night mode shot, the P50 Pro has a brighter exposure, which is interesting. When it comes to detail levels, there's not much of a difference, I think. 
uh, the bit of darker exposure on the Magic 4 Ultimate doesn't help uh, with details preserving. When we turn on night mode on both, we can see that, uh, oh, first of all, let's see here is a bit of more bluish kind of tint that is black here on the Magic 4 Ultimate, which is more accurate, I would say, and a bit warmer on the Magic 4 Ultimate. When we turn on night mode, it corrects this bluish kind of tint, uh, turning down a little bit the, the, the warm kind of background, adding a lot of more um, noise color but a lot more preserved sharpness it was pitch dark I couldn't see anything here of my toolbox but the magic 4 ultimate as you can see here is not performing performing so good even though it has the larger sensor the larger aperture should it should be better but you can see the detail preserved here the little the little tooth here on the p50 pros wrench is simply awesome even though it has more noise definitely so this is basically everything there's another shot with which dim lit situation but you can don't see much of a difference maybe a little bit of more yellowish kind of color a little bit less yellowish kind of color magic for ultimate a bit more sharpening going on in the text and it looks a bit more natural on the magic for ultimate is very very close there's not much of a difference here in terms of this mid mid uh, yeah dimly lit situation what do you think about the photos write it down in the comment section so here we have them, the Magic 4 Ultimate against the P50 Pro. Which one has won? I'm not so sure. Basically, after I did all my comparisons, all my various different points there in photography and videography, I think they're on par. There's no clear winner. The main camera sense is definitely better on the Magic 4 Ultimate. I give it even the slight edge on the ultra-wide angle, but the front-facing camera is better on the p50 pro i think even the three and a half times might be a little bit better for portraits on the p50 pro the magic has more sharpness on the on the tele zoom camera and it falls apart when you zoom further than three and a half times then the p50 pro clearly wins so it's a bit undecisive there front facing camera is better on the p50 pro i think the less contrast added to the photos is a bit better on the p50 pro the magic 4 ultimate is doing a lot right already with its color processing which is a bit better on the main and ultra wide angle than the p50 pro it's very very close in my blind test that i did before i was taking a look into the details of the photos i only got the p50 pro by one point more than the magic 4 ultimate so this says a lot about those two they are both very very good flagship camera smartphones i can understand if some people give it the edge to the magic 4 ultimate but i can also understand if people like the p50 pro a little bit better what is your personal opinion write it down in the comment section i'm very very interested which one you see here as clear winner i really have to say i don't really see a clear winner here they are basically on par so this is basically everything for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching and until the next time. Bye.